Yo, what up folks? I've been looking pretty much everywhere online trying to find a uh, install for the passenger pegs on a Harley Iron 883, but I can't find one. So this is my attempt at making one. Uh, basically got the pegs for left and right, all the, the mounting brackets, um, the pegs, and then all the hardware that comes with it. It's a couple of, a couple of bolts, a couple of washers, and uh, some clevis pins. Got it all taped up with my moustache tape. Installing it on a 2013 Harley Iron 883. Pretty much where they should go is, you see these little plugs right here? There and there. Now the thing that sucks about that is, this one's easy to get to, but this one, not so much. I've got the uh, Vance and Hines Big Radius Exhaust, uh, and what we have to do is, we're gonna have to loosen the exhaust at the flange, um, and then we're also going to have to loosen the bracket because the bracket's what's going to get in the way for the most part Regardless if you have the stock exhaust you're gonna have to loosen it. So that's pretty much what it looks like on that side and on the other side We're gonna be removing this bolt and then This little piece right here as well. I don't know if you guys can see that So yeah, well, let's get to it Basically, the uh, instructions say, uh, see the service parts illustration, remove and discard the black plastic hole plugs in A in the frame, which looks like, well, can't really see it. Anyways, these instructions are garbage. So few. Anyway, so what you're wanting to do is you're wanting to remove that little plug and that little plug as well. And so, you, like people have said, you can just use a pick. Um, pretty much just using a, a little sharp knife to wedge in there. And then just take it right out. Same with the bottom. All right, so this is pretty much all the hardware that comes with the, uh, with the kit. Um, I'll list the kit number down in the description as well. Man, my hand looks fat as fuck. <laughs> In this, in this GoPro. Anyway, so you've got uh, the three bolt or three long bolts and one short bolt, um, all hex, <clears throat> and those are basically going to go into the plugs there. So for each of these uh, bolts, you're going to need a five sixteenths inch uh, hex bit socket, and you're going to have the <clears throat> bracket oriented basically like that, so it's facing upwards. So in the directions, it says that. The, uh, the peg has to be facing upwards at a 45 degree angle whenever folded up. So that's gonna allow it to face up this way. All right, so on this side, basically working around the swing arm bag here, you can take out this black plastic plug. I'm gonna face this away from the brake lines. <laughs> All right, so there's the plug. Here's the threading. And then you're gonna remove this bracket as well. So after removing that bolt, looking at the length of it, I uh, say it would probably be pretty safe to bet that that's where the uh, short bolt in the kit goes, because that ain't very long. That's not what she said. All right, that little short bolt in the back, the length between these two obviously is right about the same, so yep, that little short bolt goes in the bottom part of this. All right, here it is with the bracket all installed. It's, uh, it's on there, I haven't torqued it down yet, but um, that's what that side looks like installed. Left side is like super easy. Let's get to the right side now. All right, well, I've put the, uh, the bracket on this one to see if we could have like any clearance at all and trying to get that bolt tightened up. But with this being that long and us having that much clearance, that ain't gonna work, unfortunately. So I'm gonna have to uh, basically loosen the exhaust of the flanges, which requires a half inch socket uh, with an extension just so you can get in there and get to that bottom one as well. Probably gonna wanna loosen them from the bracket as well, but the thing is I gotta fucking loosen the bracket, which requires moving the cover. This is gonna be a pain in the ass. All right, so I went ahead and decided to take the uh, part of the exhaust off. I loosened it up at the flange. Started to pull it out and then remembered uh, the oxygen sensor, which I've already got it unclipped here. But if you guys are going to take that top part of the exhaust off, which you might have to do, be sure to unplug your oxygen sensor. Make sure that's all undone. Uh, I've got it disconnected from the bracket as well. And then you should be able to just 
remove it. So removing that will allow you guys access to the uh, sprocket cover right here, which uh, I need to remove in order to get to loosening up this bracket. So yeah, you're going to unscrew here, here, and here. That's going to be a pain. Damn it. All right, got the sprocket cover off uh, after finagling with it for a bit. And uh, it's got three more. Well, the bracket has three more uh, screws. Obviously, I've, I've put them in. I didn't remember there being three. I thought there was only two. But suggestion, if you're uh, installing an exhaust, whenever you have your other one off, if you're ever considering passenger pegs, just go ahead and freaking install them then because it's going to be so much easier. Um, I'm actually considering just in order to get to this bottom threading for the foot peg, I'm considering just drilling through the bracket. Got the bracket on there. The manual says to torque these bolts down to 45 to 50 foot pounds. So grab your torque wrench, set it to 45, 50 foot pounds. If you guys don't have one of these, invest in it. Incredibly valuable. Don't over torque the screws and strip them because that's bad news. But yeah, got it on there. All right, so I've got the side tightened down. Um, got the torque wrench. If you guys don't know how to use a torque wrench, here's a quick how to. We're basically going to Loosen this up, and then you're going to be able to adjust the handle. You've got markings on here like, you know, two, four, six, eight. You're going to find your torque foot pounds and uh, basically set it to that. You can twist this left and right. And so you want it kind of like, you want that zero to match up with what you need. Put that in, and twist until you hear it click right there do it one more time all right so that's at 30 one more time on the bottom all right so it's at 30 and then we're going to adjust it to be at 445 to 50 so you want to work your way up all right so basically what the instructions say is that you have to take uh, the foot peg and the rounded part here has to be facing inwards towards the bike when it's folded up so when it's like that the rounded part needs to be facing that way, so like that. So the way you're going to put the peg onto the uh, bracket or the mount is in this order. Basically, you're going to have this and this go together. The flat side goes towards the flat part, obviously, of that, right? So you're going to have that there, like that. Make sure that those line up flat, flat and you're going to push it into there. It's going to be really snug. Push it in, make sure everything lines up. You're probably going to have to get like a screwdriver and line all that up. And then clevis pin is going to go through here. And then once you get all that lined up, retaining piece is going to go over that little notch in the clevis pin. All right, so once you line that up, I just used a screwdriver, push it through, rotate it around, make sure it lined up. You're gonna put the clevis pin through. You've got the bracket, you've got the actual peg, you've got the spring washer in there. And then on the underside, you're gonna put this little retainer on there somehow. How, I do not know, I'll figure it out. All right, so I learned a little something. Um, got the clevis pin in, got the foot peg in, got the spring washer in, but little retaining washer thing that goes there I did not, it has, basically looks like that. And those two little holes, you need a, uh, what they call like snap pliers. I think that's what they call them. I'll post the link up. But basically I got that one on, but it doesn't have those on there. And trying to squeeze one of those apart with some pliers, I lost one. So now I gotta go to Harley and see if I can buy that little damn piece. This is what it looks like on the, uh, on the right side of the bike. Folds down, folds up. All right, so this is basically the tool you need. They're called snappering pliers. They look like that. You squeeze them, they come in, you let them go, they push out, and they will fit perfectly into the little holes on there. I lost that first one, so I went and bought some more from Harley. So, uh, yeah, well, that's what you need. I think it was like 12 bucks at AutoZone. Pretty cheap, and it comes with like four different fittings. I think you can change out the end pieces here. 
All right, so we got everything lined up here. We got the son of a spin, the passenger peg, and then you've got that spring washer thing, and then you've got your retaining washer thing on these. So you're just gonna squeeze, push, and it's gonna pretty much pop it over and then you squeeze it back shut. All right, and after you get that on there, there you have it. I just put it on there and then I put the little pegs back in and I squeezed it or tightened it up. But that's pretty much what it'll look like when you're done. Remember, rounded side inward, you fold it out. And then uh, that's pretty much it. That was definitely a pain. And uh, for all those people that would give me shit about drilling that hole, you can't see it at all. So, suck it. All right, hope you guys enjoyed it. Just do the same thing for the other side. Deuces.